First on Fox tonight, a possible break in the Holly Bobo case tonight. The mid-state nursing student disappeared about three years ago. And right now, Tennessee Bureau of Investigation continues to dig for clues in several locations throughout Decatur County. That's right. In fact, agents are even using cadaver dogs to search for that new evidence. Fox 17's Michaela Lewis joins us now live from Decatur County, just outside the search area. Well, Scott and Stacy. I spoke with Holly Bobo's pastor just a little bit ago, and he says the family is just as surprised as anyone else about these latest developments in her case. Now, TBI executed several search warrants today, and including right here off of Highway 69. If you take a look, you can see a law enforcement vehicle blocking the driveway of a couple of homes back on that property. Now, this seems to be a place of high importance in this case, and several cars were actually towed away earlier today. Dozens of law enforcement agencies sifted through a Decatur County property on Adams Lane just off of Highway 69, searching for connections to missing 20-year-old Holly Bobo. Everybody in the county is worried about it, you know. Holly's neighbor, Bobby Myrickle, helped investigators search for the nursing student on April 13, 2011. That's when Bobo's brother says he saw a man in camo with his sister in the woods near her home. I hope they find her to give her family relief, you know closure. Today, the TBI says it executed search warrants for several locations, including this home about 15 miles from where Holly disappeared. A police car blocked the entrance of the property where two houses sit, one of which is where Zachary Adams reportedly lives. Benton County Sheriff's Office recently arrested and released Adams. The TBI says it's too early to say if there is a suspect. We've always, you know, been working this case and being diligent and trying to follow up on information and uh, follow leads and work it. So, I mean, we're excited to, um, you know, be able to progress in the case. As TBI continues to investigate, flyers are placed all around the county still, like this one in this holiday gas station, still looking for any tips that will lead to closure in this investigation. And it means so much to the family. It's been through the, the prayers of so many people and it's their faith that has gotten them through uh, these almost three years. Pastor Don Franks of Bobo's Corinth Baptist Church is holding a prayer vigil for her tomorrow. He says the family planned the event weeks ago with no knowledge of the investigation sparking up again today. Maybe this is God's timing at all, huh? but I do know that uh, we're coming together tomorrow. We're going to pray for Holly because we, at this point we still believe that she's alive. We don't have any evidence contrary to that. Now, I just got off the phone a couple of minutes ago with Decatur County Sheriff's Office, and they confirm that Zachary Adams is behind bars tonight, but they won't confirm why or in what facility. On Fox 17 at 10 o'clock, I'll tell you more about the vigil and more on the investigation. Live in Decatur County, Michaela Lewis, Fox 17 News.